On this episode of Gulf Coastal Connections, we are at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge in Disney's Hollywood Studios in Orlando, Florida on a stellar exploration of galactic gastronomy as we seek to discover the delectable delights available beneath the three suns of Batu. Embark with us on a journey to seek out dishes fit for a princess or even a scruffy looking nerf herder. So strap in, hold tight, we're about to launch on a thrilling adventure discovering the magical flavors that define the soul of Black Spire's outpost. Hello, I'm Eddie Parker, and on this episode of Gulf Coastal Connections, we are exploring the culinary wonders of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. While Galaxy's Edge may not boast character meals or fine dining experiences, the immersive journey into Batu, a remote planet in the Star Wars galaxy, is enriched by its unique food offerings. Disney meticulously crafted the menu to evoke the essence of Batu incorporating what would be local farm-to-table ingredients if the fictional planet were real. The result is a departure from conventional theme park fare, steering clear of mundane options like chicken fingers and fries. Instead, visitors can indulge in an ambitious menu that transports them to a galaxy far, far away. Our first stop this morning is at Ranta Roasters, a quick service restaurant which offers a unique culinary experience crafted by the skilled butcher and pod racing enthusiast, Bakar. Originating from Tatooine, Bakar brings four generations of butchery experience to his establishment. With a goal of introducing his renowned Ronto meat to a new audience, Bakar utilizes an unconventional method of grilling, a modified pod racing engine suspended from the ceiling. The restaurant's air is filled with the enticing aroma of grilled meat, making it a favorite among Starship crews gearing up for their mission. Notably, the menu features the popular Ronto Wrap and its breakfast counterpart, the Ronto Morning Wrap, a delectable combination of eggs, sausage, and cheese enveloped in a Ronto Raptor. Bakar's culinary innovation coupled with the ambiance of pod racing, makes Ronto Roasters a must-visit destination while you're on Betsy. We will destroy what's left of the resistance. Resist! If there's one Jedi left, it's not you. <laughs> now let's stop by the kettle. Owned and operated by Batuan farmer Kat Saka, showcasing her expertise in collecting exotic spices. Rooted in the Saka family's pioneering legacy, Kat cultivates surabat grain on her farm. Using heirloom seeds and an antique kettle, she skillfully pops the grains, blending them with spices from distant planets to create the renowned Outpost Mix. An enticing snack with a distinct fusion of salty, spicy, and sweet flavors. Thank you, Chalice. We're going to start looking for Ray over in this direction. Located near Smuggler's Alley on Merchant's Row, Oga's Cantina is the go-to spot for pilots, bounty hunters, and locals seeking refuge from the conflict between the Resistance and the First Order. Owned by the formidable Oga Guerra, the Cantina is a haven for those navigating the galaxy's complexities. Whether you're sealing a deal away from prying eyes, meeting a friend, settling a score, or simply unwinding, Ogas has you covered. And for a truly out of this world experience, indulge in the infamous jet juice, a forbidden concoction known as Engine Rune Hooch. 
Though technically banned by the Rebel Alliance, Oga turns a blind eye, allowing patrons to savor this celebratory drink that echoes across the galaxy since the Battle of Endor. It's the taste of rebellion with a wink from the cantina's fearless owner. Now friends, here's a message from one of our sponsors, Doc Ondor. Remember friends that Doc Ondor is willing to trade any treasure as long as the price is right. Thank you, Doc. Now, let's embark on a flavorful decision at the milk stand. Blue or green milk? Your vibrant choices near the First Order's headquarters. Despite their name, these aren't your ordinary dairy delights. Instead, brace yourself for a taste adventure with these moderately sweet, smoothie-inspired concoctions. Crafted from non-dairy wonders like coconut and rice, these imaginative beverages redefine the concept of intergalactic refreshment. Let's go with blue milk, commonly known as bantha milk, a delicate blue-hued beverage derived from the benevolence of female banthas. This cosmic elixir has found favor on the palates of inhabitants throughout the Outer Rim. A big fan of Blue Milk is none other than that famous Jedi Knight himself, Luke Skywalker, who used to drink it as a boy on his home planet of Tatooine. Before we go off-world in search of flavorful far-out food, let's leave you with a message from that full-time pirate and sometimes hero, Honda Anaka. Take it, Hondo. Hello, hello, my friends. I am Hondo Onaka, and this is Onaka Transport Solutions. Today, I am offering the opportunity of a lifetime. I need flight crews to transport this valuable merchandise across the galaxy. Pilots to navigate, engineers to operate the ship, and gunners to defend the shipments. And that is where you come in. Craving the flavors of Batu, but stuck in another galaxy? Enter Backlot Express, where the slogan, a warehouse of good eating, is not just a catchphrase, it's a commitment to a dining escapade like no other. Immerse yourself in this thematic production warehouse, a treasure trove of quirky props and vibrant paints that sets the stage for an unforgettable meal. While the bustling interior offers abundant seating beneath a sprawling warehouse roof, don't miss the secret gym, a covered outdoor area providing a serene escape with ample seating. So whether you choose indoor comfort or an al fresco experience, explore the nooks and crannies of the back lot, discovering delightful details that elevate your dining adventure. The menu delivers classic counter service delights featuring an array of burgers, sandwiches, and salads. But the real star of the show? The coveted Wookie Cookie. Two oatmeal cookies embracing a vanilla cream filling adorned with a milk chocolate sash. And rest assured, it comes free from any stormtrooper interference. It's a gastronomic journey that even Ewoks and Wookiees would approve. Across from Backlot Express and right under the AT-AT is the spaceport for Star Tours. Star Tours is a travel company that serves many destinations across the galaxy with its fleet of Starspeeder 3000s. Here you can see your favorite droids, C-3PO and R2-D2. Oh, 
boat than the maiden. These tours can be booked by contacting the number 1-800-555-6576. It's the Booty Classic. The Droid Rex, who is now spinning tasty tunes over at Olga's on the planet Batu, once worked for Star Tours, where he piloted a Star Speeder 3000. <laughs> we didn't eat at Docking Bay 7 since they don't have a Ronto wrap for lunch. So we're going to Sci-Fi Dine-In Theater instead. Plus Sci-Fi rules, and I wanted to eat there anyway. Here we go. Right out of George Lucas's coming-of-age movie celebrating cruising in fast cars and rock and roll epic, American Graffiti is the Sci-Fi Dine-In Theater restaurant. As you enter, a friendly car hop welcomes you, guiding you into a mesmerizing drive-in theater straight from the 1950s. Classic convertibles, bursting with color, line up in front of a sprawling screen, immersing you in the cinematic charm of old time movies and animated classics. The culinary journey at Sci-Fi complements the nostalgic ambiance, featuring a menu filled with timeless American dishes alongside a selection of beer, wine, and specialty drinks. Whether you're a youngster or a youngster at heart, this entertaining haven is open every day from 10 a.m. until park close, promising a delightful escape into cinematic nostalgia. Reservations are highly recommended. Secure your spot and prepare for a unique dining extravaganza that's as much a feast for your senses as it is a journey through the golden age of American cinema. It's not just a meal, it's an unforgettable experience in the heart of cinematic history. Buckle up for a culinary delight, as our car hop enthusiastically suggested the feature film burger. Picture this, a signature beef blend, expertly seasoned in-house, nestled between a bun with layers of shaved pastrami, crisp lettuce, flavorful heirloom tomato, and crowned with a Carolina mustard sauce. It's not just tasty and filling, it's a blockbuster on a bun. Here's a fun tidbit. These flavored pack creations aren't just making waves in the cinematic world, they're also apparently a hit in Utah. So if you're ready to embark on a gastronomic adventure that transcends both taste and geography, the feature film burger is your ticket to Flavortown. Grab a front row seat in this culinary masterpiece and let your taste buds savor the magic of flavors colliding in perfect harmony. If you saw something in the marketplace of Batu and now regret not buying it, you can always pop into Disney Springs Star Wars Trading Post featuring shipments from Star Wars Galaxy Edge. Now, let's take a look around. What an incredible journey it's been exploring the culinary wonders of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at Disney's Hollywood Studios in Orlando. As we conclude our journey through the flavors of a galaxy far, far away, remember these culinary delights await you and your family on your next visit to the enchanted world of Batu. Thank you for joining us on this adventure, and we would be delighted if you decided to join our community. Consider becoming a part of our journey by subscribing, giving us a thumbs up to share some love, and spreading the joy with your friends. Until our trails cross again, take care, stay safe, and we will see you again on the next episode of Gulf Coastal Connections. May the force be with you. If there's one Jedi left, it's not you. <laughs>
to Vakara. Red 2, Blue 5, keep tight now. Let's get ready to make that jump to light speed on my mark. I want to get better than that. Black Leader, we're picking up an unusual signal. Are you spotting anything? Yeah, I see. We'll check it out. BB-8, what do you got? There appear to be a number of small craft heading our way. Raise the shields. We got a company, first order of tight fighters. We love, we love. Red 2, Blue 5, we got Copy that. Get us clear so we can make the jump. Where are all those TIE fighters coming from? Star destroyers. We can't! We're caught in a tractor beam! It's pulling us in! It's a fight to make us a fair fight! Don't worry, I'm coming back for you! Stay strong! Is there anything we can do, Night Now? That idiot, what are you talking about? No, the tractor beam will be too strong! Can anyone do that? It's worth a shot! Full reverse! Cargo vessel TR-141, identify yourselves, prepare to be boarded. This is TR-141. We are a civilian vessel. By whose authority are we being detained? By the authority of the First Order, Resistance Scum. Now bring down your shields and prepare to be boarded. Bill Twink, get up there! They'll want the location of our secret base. Tell them nothing. The future of the Resistance is at stake. I have a bad feeling about this. Stand back from those doors. Resistance. You chose the wrong side and now 
you will pay the resistance prisoners. You have what I want. You know the location of the secret base, and I will take it from you. We are needed on the bridge. Keep the prisoners here. I will return to finish this personally. Okay, take this corridor to the turbo list, then head down to the escape pod base. Those droids are programmed to return you to Batu. Hurry and don't get caught. Lieutenant Beck will guide you. Recruits, for your safety, stay seated with seatbelts securely fastened. Keep hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the transport and supervise your children. Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. Did it work? Good. Now get a move on. There's a clear path to the turbo list at the end of the hallway. Turn right. Probe droid. You're lucky it didn't spot you. Take those turbo lifts and stay out of trouble. Hey, you're not authorized. Wait. Your cover is blown. Find an alternate route. Who picked these two droids anyway? Detention down to the escape ports. The resistance will attempt to rescue the prisoners. They have neither the resources nor the courage to engage us. You underestimate their conviction. Raise the shields! Shields? I see no evidence. Now! Down the alarm! All personnel to their stations! Sir, the prisoners have escaped. How brave. But ultimately hopeless. There's nowhere to run. Recruits, 
Thanks to your heroism, the location of the Resistance base is secure. Bravo! Yes, R5, you too. 